Hello, Bad Infos here, welcome to my first ever Q&A video. I told you guys to ask me questions in my 11,000 subscribers special video and you guys delivered, I got 400 comments, about 400 comments and maybe half of them were questions, so I'm gonna answer every single question except for the most personal ones because I don't wanna, that's the case. I'm gonna answer so many questions today, it may be, this video may be a half an hour, maybe an hour, I don't know, but I have so many questions to answer and let's go, let's begin. First question. Any tips for a 100% walkthrough? Well, if you wanna make a 100% walkthrough, I suggest playing the way you play normally, because that's that way you're gonna enjoy what you're doing. Now, I play in my walkthroughs the same way I play off camera, when I'm not recording I play the same way. I play in a way that makes me, whoops. Well, it makes me complete the game the fastest way and the easiest way that I always search for things to make my life easier in these missions. So I transfer that to my videos as well. That's why I make my walkthroughs like that. So play the way you want to play, the way you play normally, and you're going to enjoy it a lot more. Because it's not about the views, not about anything else. It's about you enjoying what you do. And that's what I do and that's what you should do too. How many times have you slept with your mechanical keyboard? How big is your dick? Ask my keyboard. How did you come up with the name Bad Infos? Well, many years ago, maybe in 2009, 2008, I'm not sure, but back then I wanted to make a channel which gave false information to people. I wanted to name it False Infos, but that channel name was taken, so I couldn't use it. So I abandoned the whole idea. I just didn't do anything with that name, that idea, anything, nothing. So 2011 came and I wanted to make a new channel, a commentary channel. So I wanted to use the same, pretty much the same name as False Infos, so that was taken, so I couldn't use it and I came up with Bad Infos. And I didn't give false informations anymore, that was not the idea of the channel, the idea was to make commentaries. So yeah, that's how I came up with Bad Infos, it's from False Infos. Could you make more games that suck videos? Sam is referring to these videos right over here. At very random times I make a game that sucks videos. Basically this game sucks. That game sucks. These are joke videos, obviously. These are videos for games I actually like. So what happens is I play a game and random stupid things and very funny thing happens. So I make a video out of it. I record that thing and I make a video about that because it's funny for me. Now. These are always non-scripted. These happen at random times, so I cannot predict when I'm gonna make a video like that. I definitely wanna make many of these videos. I wanna make them daily, but I can't because not many amazing things and funny things happen all the time. So I cannot predict when a thing like that's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen eventually and I'm gonna make more videos of that. Can you do a face cam on 100% walkthroughs? Mm, short answer, no. Long answer is... These videos are made to be informative, I wanna help you guys understand the game more. It's not about me, it's not my, about my face. Now it, if it was a let's play, like let's say my Sims 1 let's play, that would be perfect for a face cam, sure. But a walkthrough is not, they are about the game, not about my face, not about my expressions or anything like that. Sure, it could be funny to watch my expressions when I get explored in a GTA game, for instance, but it's not about that, it's about the game guys, so... I can't really do that, it's perfect for a let's play like I said for my Sims 1 and I'm, I want to buy a camera because I don't have a camera right now, I'm using my phone to record myself. So if I buy a camera I'm definitely gonna include it in my Sims let's play but not in my walkthroughs. When will the Q&A be published? Now. Can you please do more San Andreas? Hell yeah, I'll definitely do more San Andreas. Do you expect to get the silver play button in the future when you surpass 100,000 subscribers? I would love to have it, of course. Like 5 years ago I didn't think that even 100 people are gonna subscribe to me, but here we are, 5.5 years later and I have 13,000 subscribers. So that was a very far-fetched goal and idea for me and 100,000 subscribers sounds incredibly unrealistic for me, but it if I can get 30,000, I can get 100,000, so that's not a far-fetched goal as well, I guess. So I don't expect it, but I might get it, and if I get it, I'm gonna be so mega happy and so mega thankful. Do you have any siblings? 
I have no brothers and sisters, but I have three cousins. Do you play racing games? In my teenage years, all I played was GTA and racing games. That was pretty much everything I played. Nowadays, racing games are just so stupid. They're full of so much crap, like rewinds. Let's say that's the biggest issue I have. They're focused on graphics and not on the gameplay. I don't think so, at least. They're way too realistic sometimes. They're just not fun for me anymore. They are an abomination of what they used to be, so I don't play them very often, but sometimes I do. What's your favorite game? GTA San Andreas. What's your favorite video? That's an extremely difficult choice. I look through my favorites in my channel currently and I have four picks. I cannot pick one video, guys. It's, it's crazy. That's a crazy question. So, my four picks are... I'm gonna link them in the description. You can check them out. You definitely check them out because it's so mega fun. The first one is... Yami says fuck. Yeah. Samurai Jack 300 trailer. I love Samurai Jack and this trailer is absolutely amazing. The next one is... This is a big title. Ford Shelby vs Camaro vs Jeep vs Vess. 2107 vs Helicopter. My cars show real. Definitely check it out. This is an animation. It's absolutely amazing. And the last one is... Gorillas Workshop. To workshop, sorry. Gorillas to workshop. Check this out, it's so funny. It's about a gorilla doing it to work. What food do you like? My favorite food is fried potatoes, but only when my mother makes them. If somebody else makes them, it's not tasty at all. If it's something else I have to choose, it's probably steak. Steak is awesome too. What's your first GTA and when did you first play it? In 2002, my parents bought me for my 10th birthday. A computer, my first ever computer. On that computer, there were five games. Quake 3, Serious Sam the Second Encounter, uh, Revolt, Colin McRae Rally 2, and GTA 3. GTA 3, I fell in love with that, that was my favorite game at that time. And yeah, in February 2002 was my first ever GTA game. Can you play Scarface? The world is yours. Nope, never heard of it. How old are you? 24. I'll be 25 in February. What's your favorite GTA game and why? GTA San Andreas. In my teenage years I was a part of a professional stunting crew called DSS and my whole teenage years were occupied with this amazing game. San Andreas and Vice City to an extent was absolutely amazing. I spent maybe 5,000 or even 10,000 hours in San Andreas. It was crazy, guys. All I did was play day and night when I came back from school. All I did was play GTA San Andreas. And that's why it's my favorite game of all time. It still is. I still play it. It's crazy. What old video game console did you want to have and why? The only console I have ever owned is the Atari 2600 Junior. Modern consoles are complete garbage and a complete waste of your money. What's your favorite GTA character? I am not gonna answer that question because I'm gonna make a special video about that. I'm gonna make a video about my favorite characters, so stay tuned for that. Have you ever played Bully Scholarship Edition? And we will do a 100% walkthrough on it. No and no, I only do walkthroughs on games I am very familiar with. And I have never played them, so... No, sorry. What's your favorite mission in a GTA game? I guess I can say Bomb the Base Act 2 in GTA 3. I don't know, I don't know what else to pick. There's so many amazing missions. Are you planning on making videos on this channel until you need to stop? Will you abandon this channel? Okay guys, I've done this for five and a half years. In this time, I finished school, I started and graduated from university, I changed maybe three or four jobs. Now, the time to quit was then. If I was gonna quit YouTube, I was gonna quit it in that period of time. So far, so far, I have not quit. And I'm having more and more fun every single day when I record. And I get more and more subscribers, more and more views. Why would I stop? I would only stop if YouTube bans me, which is a possibility. Sometimes it could happen. If my channel disappears, Suddenly, you know, I either died, that's a possibility, I could get crushed under some truck or something, I died or YouTube banned me, that's the only case I would leave. What's your next game series if all GTA games finish? 
Trust me guys, there will be always something to do in GTA, these are massive games, I have so many to choose from, I can do so many videos, guys, I have so many plans, I have a full folder of maybe 50 files, 50 text files of videos I wanna do, I just don't have the time to do them, I always think of ideas and I don't have the time to do them, so they pile up and pile up and pile up, I have so many ideas, guys, GTAs are not gonna disappear, they're only gonna disappear if I stop enjoying them. Short answer is I still do lots of other games right now and GTA is not going anywhere. Why don't you make videos of online games? I generally don't like online games. Okay, let's say, let's say that I have played 500 games since 2002. Let's say 500 games. Out of these 500 games I have only enjoyed about 10 online games. I don't play online games. What game do you like to play other than GTA, Sims or Minecraft? I love playing RPGs. RPGs are my thing. If I don't play RPGs, I play FPS. I recently completed Fallout 3. That took maybe 50 hours. I also recently completed Crisis 1 and Crisis Warhead. These are FPS games. Do you know you're beautiful? Yes. Will you do a 100% walkthrough of GTA 5? I'll make a 100% complete walkthrough of every single 3D GTA game. Maybe the 2D ones, but I'm not sure about that. Definitely about the 3D ones. Every single time I walk through ends, I ask you guys what the next game is gonna be. So, I completed GTA San Andreas, GTA 3, GTA Vice City and Liberty City Stories and I'm currently doing Vice City Stories. So, once Vice City Stories ends, I'm gonna ask you guys to vote. Whatever you vote for is gonna be the next one. It's probably gonna be GTA 4 or GTA 5. You decide. Would you rather play GTA San Andreas or GTA 5? San Andreas, definitely. Where's your headband? I don't like using hats in the winter because they mess up my hairdo. So what I do is I wear this headband. I know it's not red like in my um, avatar. It should be red, but red doesn't look good on me. So I chose this one. It's not very good, I know, but I just Put it on, my, my hair is gonna stay like this indoors wherever I go. If I put a hat on, it's gonna squish it and it looks absolutely terrible. So yeah, that's your answer. Where are you from? Bulgaria. Can you do a video about the creepy things in GTA San Andreas? Oh yeah, I have an idea about that. So stay tuned, I'll definitely do something about it, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. What's your favorite radio station in GTA Vice City? V-Rock and VCPR. Do you plan to do Manhunt? Never played it. No. Do you like point-and-click adventure games? I actually do. Yeah, that's surprising for me for a person who plays FPS and RPGs, but yeah, I actually do. And I guess my favorite one is Gardenscapes 2. Mm, that may be it. Gardenscapes 2, Gardenscapes Mansion. Could you play Army Men RTS or Army Men Siege War? Nope, never heard of them. Can you say hi to me in the next video, please? Oh boy, that's gonna be a doozy. Okay, sorry for butchering your name, but... Hello, Safwan El Jaadoni Lehosni. Sorry, really sorry for pronouncing your name like that, but I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Lehosni, that sounds awesome. Like awesomely, ah, ha ha. Next question. Will you make an Instagram account in the future? I don't know, I've never used a site before, so I can't really say. If I need to, I'll make one. Will you play GTA San Andreas Design Your Own Missions? Now this is the first time I hear of this thing and I will look into it if it's interesting. Yeah, sure, San Andreas is awesome and I wanna play more. Can you do a room tour? No, I don't think so, there's nothing to see. Honestly, there's nothing to see. There's four posters, another one over there, that one's naked, these two are naked. The I have a car over there, a car poster, some stuff behind me. I don't know if you can see, I drew these two, that is my monitor, my creeper, I made this creeper myself, by the way. Nothing else to see, guys, there's a TV over here, there's a monitor, the computer is right over there, nothing to see, I don't want to make a video like that. Because I have to clean the room. Can you do a GTA race with me? No, not for now, maybe in the future I'll make a video with subscribers or fans, whatever, but as, as it is right now, I will only play with people I actually know and I'm friends with. Can you give me a gaming PC? So this is what happens. When I buy a new PC, I give my old one to my father. Because he really needs one. He always gets end up ends up with the crap I had previously. So 
If I get a new gaming PC, I'm gonna give it to my father. Sorry, dude. Saw me ha Hammond. Yeah, Hammond. Sorry about that, but no. Do you like hot dogs? I have a hot dog every six months, maybe. So, yeah, kinda, but I don't look for them. Do you think you can become the best Bulgarian YouTuber? Mm, no, I don't think so. That would be Purdue for O. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's great. So. I will never top him. What made you start YouTube? Holy crap, that's a huge question. I wanna make a huge video about it. Maybe 20 minutes, I can talk for 20 minutes about it. But okay, the short version is... Back in the day, I played a lot of Sims. Sims 1. I wanted to look my, at my progress. I made a huge house with so much progression. The top of, My people were at the top of their career. And I wanted to see the progress. But unfortunately, I could not see the progress because I wasn't recording. So, what I decided to do is make a gaming channel where I would upload my stuff. So, in the future I can look back at the videos and look at my progress I did with the family. It was only a Sims based channel. Also at that time I saw some other Let's Players. That's how I got introduced to Let's Plays, watching Let's Players. So, yeah, I got inspired by that and I wanted to make videos. I also wanted to practice with my English. My English was terrible, absolutely awful back in the day. So I wanted to practice a little bit more because I had some... I'm, I was gonna start university and in university I had English lessons. So I wanted to practice somehow my English so I can speak to the professors in a more professional way. So that's the short answer. I have so much more to say about that. But this video is getting way too long already. Why did you stay mostly with GTA? Well, from time to time I get stuck to one game. It was Sims 1, then it was Minecraft, and now the huge thing is GTA. So what's the next thing gonna be? Maybe GTA again, because GTA is awesome. I'm gonna probably stick to it forever and ever. Mm, I don't know. What's your job? I'm an insurance agent. Are you gonna make a GTA 5 100% walkthrough? I answered this question, but I'll answer it again. Yes, I'm gonna do a 100% walkthrough of every single GTA game. What are some things you want in the next GTA game? The city, a Vice City, and the graphics from GTA 5. What's your favorite Minecraft monster? Creeper. Creeper. Which do you like more, GTA San Andreas or GTA 5? GTA San Andreas. Minecraft or Roblox? Never played Roblox. How many games do you play? Well, at any given time I have about 10 games installed on my PC. Currently I have Crisis 2, I have Sniper Elite 1, I have all the neighbors from Hell games, I have Minecraft, Sims, that's way more than 10 I think. But I have oh, Assassin's Creed 3 I have as well. I have many games installed at any given time. So I play them all from time to time when I have the time, the free time. And of course all the GTAs, except for GTA 5 because GTA 5 is massive. How is YouTube for you and do you have a full-time job? I assume you mean how is YouTube monetarily for me? I have a full-time job, I'm an insurance agent. And about the money I get from YouTube is about half the salary I get from my regular job. So YouTube is pretty good, I guess. Do you realize that the subscriber count is now meaningless on YouTube? I have no idea what you mean. Are all games on your channel obtained legally? No, about half of them are not. Why do you need a new mic? The current one is good. Of course it's good. I like it a lot. But it's always good to change. It's always good to have some, uh, new, some new things. New is better. The more expensive, the better. Usually. Which GPU would you like to buy in the future? Of course I wanna buy the newest one and as the 1080 Ti which is gonna be announced pretty soon. So of course I wanna buy the newest one and the best one. In a very distant future I am gonna buy it because why not? Currently it's way too expensive. The 1080 is too expensive. I can't imagine how expensive the 1080 Ti is gonna be. I am gonna buy the next card I'm gonna buy is probably gonna be the 980 or the 980 Ti. Do you enjoy recording for us? The only reason why I record is because I enjoy it. Which has a better story? Mafia 2 or GTA 4? I've never played Mafia 2. When did you start learning English? Is foreign language fluency required in the Bulgarian school curriculum? In the 90s when I was born pretty much the only channel which produced good quality cartoons was Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network was in English. So I thought myself English. Yeah, completely by myself. When I got to school, I had English in 5th grade, from 5th grade to 12th grade. During that time, I pretty much did not do any homework. I did not listen to the teachers. I just knew everything and I got straight 6s. 6 is the equivalent of an A. Is it required? Yeah, it is required. You have to know at least one language. I have studied German for 12 years. I have studied... 
English for eight years and two extra years in university. Well, I have no idea. I, I can't speak German. German is very difficult for me. I know a few words and I have studied it for 12 years. I have not done any homework, any studying on English and I know it pretty well. I can speak it fluently. What's your number one priority in making videos? The most important thing for my walkthroughs is to make sure that the information I give you guys is accurate. It's accurate, I have done my research, all the research I could and make sure not to give false information to you. Even though my name is bad infos, I don't want to give bad information to you guys. So that's my number one priority. The next priority is to edit the video in an understandable way. I just want to have it informative to you, make it informative to you, so you can understand me. And sometimes when I speak crap, I stop speaking crap and stumble upon my words, I redo the video. I, you have no idea how many videos I have redone in my past. Maybe about 50 videos have been scrapped entirely and I have re-recorded them. Will you make more bad shows? Charlie is referring to this video right over here. Guys, go watch this video. This is my favorite video of all time. Just go watch it. It took me two weeks to make, but it's so worth it. Seriously, watch it. Now, of course I want to make more of these videos. This is my favorite type of video, but it doesn't work with all games. Bad shows don't work with all games. That's why I didn't make it. I could make it for other GTA videos in the future and I'm probably gonna make them, but for most games it doesn't work, so I don't do it. What is the difference between a walkthrough, playthrough, a let's play, etc? You have heard me complain about this. Many YouTubers on YouTube upload walkthroughs. In these walkthroughs, they have not played the game before. They're just playing it blind. That is not a walkthrough. A walkthrough is you walk people through the game. You have done your research, you know a lot about the game, you have at least completed the game once. That's a walkthrough. You're walking people through the game. You know a lot about the game and you show the people how to play it. What's a let's play? Well, first of all, what's a playthrough? A playthrough has an end. It has a start, it has an end. You're playing through the game. From start to finish. The game is has to have an end. What's a let's play? A let's play is very similar to a playthrough. You play the game but it doesn't necessarily have to have an end. This is great for Let's plays are great for Sims games, for Minecraft games and so on, which don't necessarily have to have an end, but usually for let's plays you play the game for the first time, if it has a start and finish you play it for the first time and it doesn't have to have an end, that's the requirement. What is a guide? A guide is similar to a walkthrough but it's shorter. What's the worst GTA game for you and why? GTA Vice City Stories is because it's full of garbage. If you just play it regularly, casually, it's an amazing game. If you want to do it at 100%, guys, you're in a hell of a time. You have to do so many side missions. The side missions are going to take you even more time than the main story of the game. It's ridiculous. The side missions are huge and they decided to include 15 levels instead of 12 levels for most missions. That's ridiculous. Are you going to play more games such as Assassin's Creed or Far Cry? I could do some one-off videos in the future, but especially these games that you asked, I'm probably not gonna do. What are your PC specs? My current specs are right over here. If you're watching this video later, like a half a year later or a year later, I may have other specs. You can go to my channel in my about page to check out my updated list. Why don't you make more gaming videos? What? That's all I do here. Will you play other Sims games? I love Sims 1. I like Sims 2 but I'm not gonna play it probably. I hate Sims 3. I have a playlist for Sims 4. You can check it out over here. Will you play mobile games? Probably not. They don't interest me at all. Will you play GTA 1 or GTA 2? The plan with this channel is to complete every single GTA game at 100%. So maybe, yes, maybe. What GTA game did you think was bad? I answered this question, it is GTA Vice City Stories because it's full of garbage. Side missions. I answered the first two questions already, the third one is... Which GTA game do you like the most except for San Andreas? That would be GTA 3, because GTA 3 holds lots of nostalgia for me. GTA 3 is my first GTA game ever and it took me about a year to unlock the second island, when I was little. If you get 2 million subscribers, then will you be able to reply and read them all? Absolutely not. Currently it takes me about an hour a day to reply to all the comments I get. It's gonna be ridiculous if I get 2 million subscribers. A geography question, which country is located north of Bulgaria? That would be Romania. What are your most embarrassing moments that happened in 2015 and 2016? A year ago I made this video 
is pretty funny. It's of my most embarrassing moment that happened in 2014. I wanna make one for 2015 and 2016, but nothing embarrassing happened. Sure, he had some embarrassing moments, but nothing really major to make a video of. Sorry. And that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Thank you so much for asking me questions. This was a blast to make. I had to do some research about some things, like my favorite videos and whatnot. I had to remind myself of some old videos I made just to answer the questions. It was a blast making this video and I'm definitely gonna make it again in the future. In the future I'm gonna make a video especially just for you guys to ask me questions and I'm gonna answer them in another video. So stay tuned for that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.